Now, Rachel Garceau with the On Your Side forecast. And fly fishing might not have been the best idea today. Maybe flying a kite with the wind we had out there, right? Though Mother Nature may have just snatched it from your hands. That's how gusty our winds have been. And we have had a very wet April so far. We've had measurable, pre measurable precipitation nearly every day this month. So typically for the first 10 days of April, we see just about a third of an inch of precipitation in Boise. It could be rain or snow, not completely out of the question for Boise to see some snow in April, but it has been rain, of course, so far this month. We've seen almost an inch of rain, so almost three times above average as far as our precipitation total just 10 days in. We saw half of that rainfall though just a couple of days ago. Nearly half an inch of rain fell in Boise on Monday the 8th. So it has been a very wet start and we may actually see those rain numbers ramp up a little bit more over the next five days or so. There's a very slim chance of a shower or two tomorrow. Our best chance of rain in the next week does come in unfortunately to wrap up the weekend on Sunday, but not a bad start to the weekend. 61 with mostly cloudy skies and calmer winds on Saturday. So that is something to look forward to. Give you a little silver lining, right? So we still have flood watches, flood concerns in our east central mountain locations, Adams County, that green blob you see kind of uh, near Valley County there near McCall and Cascade. That's a flood warning, a step up from a step up from a flood watch. And of course, we continue that wind advisory for those gusty winds we've seen across the Treasure and Magic Valleys. That will expire at midnight tonight. That doesn't mean we'll magically get rid of the gusty winds. Unfortunately, they just will subside a little bit tomorrow compared to today. We are seeing some showers right now across the Pacific Northwest. Not a whole lot happening here in southern Idaho. Now, this will translate to that chance of some showers tomorrow, but we do have that much greater chance over the weekend. So we just have this moist northwesterly flow, and there's a couple little waves of energy embedded in there that could send some showers our way tomorrow. Some mountain snow will likely start falling on Thursday into Friday morning, but this is really the next big weather maker that will send our temperatures dropping on Sunday and send that rain and snow back into the region. So here's the setup over the next couple of days. Early tomorrow morning, that looks to be likely our best chance for a shower here in Boise. Not all of the models are even agreeing that we will see any rain at all, but a couple of sprinkles if you head out early tomorrow, even early morning commute, you may need the windshield wipers for a couple of minutes. And then during the day tomorrow and into Friday morning, like I mentioned above that 5,500 foot mark, we could see one to four inches of snow possibly. All of that will take a little bit of a break on Friday with a few lingering sprinkles. Really Saturday will be our driest day. No real chance of rain at all on Saturday. Not a ton of sunshine. Here's midday. Lots of cloud cover. And then here comes that next system marching across the northwest first and then taking aim at the Treasure Valley on Sunday. So enjoy the drier conditions, especially Friday and Saturday while they are here. Looks like next week this time we will see rising temperatures finally because tomorrow our temperatures don't budge much from where we were today. 53 for Boise tomorrow, 53 the high for CUNA, 57 in Ontario. A couple of showers popping up and still very breezy, not quite as gusty, but we'll still see that brisk northwesterly wind all day long tomorrow. Up in the mountains, we'll see highs right around 50 for Council and Riggins, around 40 degrees with some snow showers in the morning for the Long Valley, turning over to rain or a wintry mix in the afternoon. Only an inch or so possible during the day tomorrow, but then again, as you get higher and higher in elevation, we could see more and more snow piling up 39 the high for Stanley tomorrow with a couple of snow showers off and on 44 for Sun Valley. That wind still very brisk in Fairfield and a high of just 46 degrees for you tomorrow. Partly cloudy and windy in the Magic Valley tomorrow is very slim chance of a sprinkle. Mostly it will just be that wind that's a big weather headline for Twin Falls and cool conditions 52 the high in Twin tomorrow. Now on Friday, we start off cold next three mornings. Those temperatures will dip down into the 30s. That is chilly for this point in April, but Saturday now the models have popped back into 20% chance of showers, so we'll see. It probably won't really develop to be all that much. Sunday really does look to be the wettest day.